because there's a possibility here. Yeah. You could fight Conor McGregor. <laughs> I wish. Right? At lightweight. Look, he's coming back. Who's, yeah. he, who's he fighting? He's got a... Chandler, yeah. Okay, he's fighting. Oh, he's fighting Chandler. Yeah. Okay. Well... Allegedly. Allegedly. Right. Like you saw it at first. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to get back in the testing pool for oh, six man, months. Oh, man, he looks yeah. big, doesn't he? You know, he's not in the testing pool, so he's got to get in the testing pool for six months before he okay. can fight. I'm sure they can make an exception, but that's the rule, allegedly. Not, you know, maybe you'll fight Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, yeah. <laughs> God damn, he looked huge. Uh, he's not passing any you saw it. Though. No, no, no. Uh, what are your thoughts on Conor McGregor as a fighter? Uh, it's crazy because I have a hard time separating the the person from the athlete. I'm, right, right. I, even some a little kid, like, and it's very judgmental. I shouldn't do that, you know, but also some things he does is flat out wrong. Um, I loved Conor McGregor. Like when he was mm -hmm. starting out, I was like, man, I draw so much inspiration from this guy. He was confident, a little arrogant, but he wasn't a bad, he wasn't doing bad things, you know? Right. Um, and then when he jumped the shark, I was like, I'm out. Like I'm rooting for anybody that fights Conor McGregor. But, uh, I just think we were talking about it. Uh, what was I talking about it with yesterday? I can't remember. We're talking about how a guy just loses that confidence and they can't get it back. And it really mm -hmm. seems like that's where he's at. Like I used to watch his interviews over and over and over again and like the documentaries and all that stuff. And he, I really felt like from the outside looking in, he believed what he was saying. Right. And right. now I watched him on Ariel Hawani's yesterday and I looked at my wife. I'm like, remember when we used to watch all those interviews and stuff? Like he's just a guy saying something like a movie script. Like, oh, I, I be believe me, I'm coming back for everything. And I was like, you're just another guy in the mix now. Like I, I really think he's... Still a very good fighter, but I think he's very, very beatable by most of the top 15. You know, I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know who I'd pick him over in the top 15. I mean, there's guys for sure. Chandler's probably one of them because he gets touched a lot, you know. But uh, I'd like to see him fight Gaethje. I, I would love to see him fight <laughs> Gaethje. I'd like to see Gaethje fight anybody, really. Yeah, just I'd like to see him fight Benil Darush. There you go. Yeah. That's a fight you'll never see because right. it's a, the, the cash cow isn't gonna sell. and the dark horse. Exactly. But uh I think he's a, an easier fight for most of these guys than he's not, you know? Well, to rate... What about Joe Selecki? Is he easy yeah. to fight for Joe Selecki? I would take that million-dollar payday. <laughs> I don't know that, you know? <laughs> I'll give it a crack. But, uh, yeah, the thing is, like, he used to be a guy where guys would go, okay, he doesn't wrestle well, his ground game's not fantastic. I don't think that was necessarily all that mm -hmm. true. You know, like, he hung in with Habib. He did good stuff. But now, like, when you watch him with Poirier, like, he, yeah, his wrestling was atrocious his ground game was atrocious you know right. he, it looked like somebody's not in the gym every single day anymore and uh i think there's a lot of young hungry guys like myself that would be like uh yeah great opportunity and i think i'm probably gonna surpass him pretty here soon in you know the overall game maybe not in striking ever he's got a left mm -hmm. hand from you know but yeah i mean that'd be that'd be amazing